So we've got a hole in our gospel. We're only doing half. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those smart people brought two lunch. Hi. You're supposed to be with the blue group. And you're over here with the orange people. <laughs> This is how Mississippians entertain. I really want to win. No. No. Okay. Let's go. That's when I want to get some Mississippians. That first lunch, there is about to um, show you three creative activisms so you begin to think about it. And then what we're going to do is hopefully spend most of our time developing a creative activism. You actually have the uh, ability to get $500 on a grant. To do a oh, okay. Y'all gotta stand up. Y'all gotta stand up. These aren't just little cheesy principles you learn in this week. Y'all gotta take this back to your neighborhood, to your hoods. You gotta activate it. So just figuring out how you want to. Let me grab. Let me grab. We're gonna talk about it. I get you more. So we're gonna. That's the challenging scenario. Um, if you notice, if, if you guys notice, we have we have five meetings, right? More meetings than others. You are standing right in a place where people have shed their blood, they're sweating their tears, their hard work, and that's what you all are doing. When change is radical. You shake the foundations. That's when people start to take notice. And that's what you want to do. That is why you are here. We are in the nation's capital, the world's most powerful city. You all are here. You all are here for a reason. And you all are here to make it count. So it doesn't matter where you're from, where you were born, how you were born, what color you are, how old you are. You are all very capable young individuals. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. You all should have that dream too. And that's why we are here. This is a group of students from Seattle that are part of World Vision's Youth Empowerment Project. It's an ongoing program throughout the year where um, children in the community uh, voluntarily take part in this program to become more civically involved in their community and now at the federal level. Good job. <laughs> Many of the students, because they see no opportunity, they drop out of school, which contributes to the 30 to 40 percent dropout rate. You know, if we aren't united, then the economy, the government, the people, um, and the whole world might even crumble. Because if there's no unity, then there's no love, and if there's no love, then there's no trust. Uh, we're almost turning 18, so you need those thoughts, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. I, I hope you'll remember uh, July 21st, 2009, because one of these days you'll be able to, Ashley, you'll be able to talk to your family uh, 
about your visit. Uh, and if you work it hard, and if I and my colleagues work it hard, we'll be able to say we did something so that all these stories are just history and that we'll treat people a lot better. Um, it's not going to be easy. When you do turn 18, I hope you do register to vote, and I hope you do start to vote, and I hope you get other your, uh, your peers to come and do exactly this. I hope that other organizations were to do what World Vision has done to get you to come here because these are the kinds of experiences that will change lives, not just policy, but change lives.